And what was the rumor you heard about him raping Shay, who was under 18 years old? So that situation came about whenever we had an altercation with, you know, some people. And we were on the phone with her, and she yells, he raped me, he raped me. When she said that, he hangs the phone up on her and says, I don't know what she's talking about. And if I did have sex with her, it was consensual. That girl was nasty, is what he told me, and that's where he got the... That, you know, that was his way of saying that's what she did and that's all there was to it. That doesn't justify anything. If you did something, you did something, whether somebody's nasty or not, that don't give you a right to take advantage of anybody. Well... <laughs> and what was the accusation that came up last week? There was a minor that I was told got a phone call. He was with some people, and overnight, whenever the mother was, you know, in the bathroom, the girl said that he came in her room, told her to stand up and turn around, you have some nice legs. Why are you telling a minor to stand up and turn around at three in the morning out of their sleep? What sicko does stuff like that? And did she say he did anything to her? Never said he did anything. The mother had him escorted out, and the police came and just had him go home. There was never any police report taken, no, no report, nothing. Nothing happened. He didn't go to jail. Which is understandable because if he didn't touch her, I'm like, okay, that explains why he didn't go to jail. And he's never been arrested for anything? Never been arrested. But there has been, you know, whenever there was some paperwork for his house when he had to leave, that there was a rape allegation on her. But I'm like, okay, so how is this being noted down? When you get evicted, that, there, there's all the incidents. That rape allegation was on there, but I don't know when it was from. It just says rape allegation, but it was never. Any time I mean, they do a it's background pretty check. It's incredible that there's all of these accusations. Exactly. And it's just too much of a coincidence. Ain't nobody just going to wake up and say, oh, he raped me. You're not getting, you're not a local, you know, you're not famous. Ain't nobody going to get paid for saying these accusations. Like, who are you? Uh, were there any other signs that made you believe that he's capable of things like this? I mean, him being abusive, aggressive, when he's an alcoholic, yes. But other than that, no, because he never took, you know, sex from me. And that's what makes me wonder, like, okay, so how can you do this to other people? Um, now, you, you don't want to be with him, right? Mm-mm. Okay. And he's saying he doesn't want to be with you now, but you don't allow him to see his daughter. You want him to pass his lie detector test. And if he were to fail... That's on him. He's going to look like a big jackass because at the end of the day, you're, this is what you're doing. You're a father. You have a daughter to raise. What, what, like, you have to prove to her that no man should be taking advantage of any woman. That's how I look at it. All right, let's meet Josh. Hey, Taylor, listen. Listen, you know, you know for a fact, I'm going to tell you this here, you know for a fact, before we even got into a relationship, we don't need each other for two months. You dig what I'm saying? I broke it down to you. I was a hoe. I had a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? I did this and then the third. I never, ever once did nothing wrong to no women out here on no tight time like that. Yeah, I had sex with women. Yeah. Rough sex, if they want to call that, they want to call that stuff rape, then it's rape, then whatever they want to call it. Rough sex is whatever. It's consensual, though. But I like rough I never, sex. Why I never, you never do it to me? I then? never, ever raped no girl out here. Right, but I, I like rough they, sex. Why don't you never do why, it to why, me? Listen, what I'm saying is, though, why don't you let me, why don't you even let me continue a relationship with you? Because every time I tried to leave, it was always an issue. Why don't you even continue a relationship with me? The same if, reason if, why if I was, said every time I left, it end. was always an issue. You would fight when I leave, but you wouldn't fight for me. That don't got nothing to do with what I'm saying with right now about what I'm asking you. Why did you continue a relationship with me? I just told you why. There was no point. Why did you even let me have a baby with you? What? Why? Why did you even let me keep being with you? Three years we've been together. You could have left. If that was the case, you could have left. I didn't leave you because I loved you, right? I still do love you, but for you to bring me on here for this, you should have just bought me on here for cheating on you or something. I don't care so about why that. why are you bringing me on here like this? You are this? not the only person in the world I can leave and call it a day we have a daughter. You're accused of rape. That's different. I don't give a damn about no cheating. Are you nervous that so many different women are accusing you of rape? I'm not nervous at all about what they saying. Because at the end of the day, every single last one of them seen our relationship of how we was doing, how we was living. And so they were jealous? I believe somebody's in her ear. What I do have concern with is why would so many, like one woman, okay, it could happen. Two women, maybe. Right. But Three four and four? Is too many. 
Four Steve, too many. Never did. This is crazy. I'm telling you, I had sex with these girls. Consensual sex. So it's, why do they wait to the middle of a relationship to say something? Why so many years go by and then that dude's happy, I'm going to say he raped me. Exactly. It's the principle, point. Steve. Like, where did this One even of come from? Why did this even that come you, back? you uh, oh. is accusing her of rape. She left a voicemail. Let's play that now. Hi, my name is Jazz. When I was 16 years old, a man named Josh took advantage of me. He got me very intoxicated and proceeded to take off my pants and do other things. But that was a secret that I held in for a very long time. When I did finally speak on it, I was told that I was lying. A whole bunch of different things like that, which makes it hard for victims to speak up. And I don't want to consider myself a victim. I am a survivor. And I believe that this man should be reprimanded. I hope this information helps you guys. Thank you. Steve, a whole lie, man. I'm telling you, that is a whole lie. Do you ever uh, take advantage of women that are intoxicated? No. No. So there's no. never been a t case of a woman drinking too much and you've had sex. No, with Steve, never, ever. I got drunk with this girl that left the voicemail. Shay, have, do you know her? Never. Come did ahead, Dan. Dan, got to come out and test him for that. That's definitely a lie. He's saying he doesn't. He don't know, know her. We, he was just. I don't even that. know. I, I did it to so many Shay, Steve. <laughs> I swear to God, I do not but, recall this. Okay, but this is a girl saying that you gave I her too much it. to drink and that I, I you. Don't, I don't recall it. I don't recall it. The first one uh, is about this girl, Shay, who was just on the voicemail. We mm -hmm. asked you, did you ever have sexual activity with Shay when she was passed out? You refused to answer any questions about Shay. Even though, even though Dan told you the first and last name of Shay, he said that he did not know who we were talking about. He said he's had sexual activity with several Shays. But we did tell you her first name and her last name, and you are refusing to answer the questions whether you had sex with her. <laughs> Guilty right there. We asked you, did you use force to have sexual physical contact with Taylor's friend in question? You answered no. Was the sex you had with Taylor's friend consensual? You answered yes. The results for those two questions uh, came back that Josh did not tell the truth. Exactly my point. Oh, exactly oh, my point. I don't know how I ain't tell the truth. She told me in full detail everything that happened. I don't, I don't know how. I don't, I, don't, I don't get that That's one, though. That's okay. Because they all going to know about this one, baby. They all going to know get about that one, this though. one. And I guarantee that. I don't that. get that one, though. I swear, I don't, I don't get that one. I don't. I don't. And the only so then we went on to ask him, did you ever have any sexual physical contact with the minor in question? Um, you answered no. Did you ever have sexual intercourse with the minor in question. You answered no. The results came back the same teach one of those questions. So the truth. And it came back that you did not tell the truth. Oh, I had sex with no manner. I had sex with no manner. What manner? Hold on, what manner? did to that dog. It's a damn shame. What manner? I had sex with no manner. I think all these women that are accusing you of this they are telling the truth. Yep. And that you are going around. I ain't had sex with no man at all. Yeah. Well, you failed. How many times did they test. take the? How many times did he take the test? Like seven and failed all four times. I, I ain't had sex with no man at all. Okay. So what I would suggest, uh, wherever you're from, and I'm sure people are going to watch the show, mm -hmm. you have a sexual predator in your midst. Oh, I already knew it. <laughs> right. I already know. Um, I ain't had sex with no man at all. And I would encourage all these women that have spoken up recently and accused Josh of these sexual acts that you would contact the local police and make complaints so he doesn't do this to somebody else especially he shouldn't do this to any woman but if he's doing it to children mm -hmm. then he's doing these things I don't get why I took my daughter away from with exactly that Josh I think you will be exposed when you go home oh he is you're failing this test you're doing it to children um, I hope you'll be arrested as soon as possible and with that, get you can the get hell the hell off, off my stage. stage.